All right, so now that we have uh, our three buttons, uh, our three answers made, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, we're going to set up the actual scoring and all that. Okay, so uh, I'm going to get into uh, double click on slides, then all slides, and now we're inside slide four, and I'm just going to scroll in here um, and uh, we will start working at this. Okay, so the idea here, it doesn't really matter exactly how it's set up, but uh, this is a little bit large, um, so I'm actually going to make this smaller. Shift as I do it, so it'll go like that. Um, and let's just go regular select because it'll be a little bit easier. We don't need this four anymore, that was just there so we could see. So, um, the way I'm picturing it is let's just do this so we can see what we're doing. I know this doesn't matter, but it's going to bother me. So, we're going to say we have a, uh, a question, okay? And then basically, there's the three answers, okay, that people can choose. That's that's the idea behind it, right? So, these all have to be text at some point. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, basically duplicate all of these. So we're just going to, I'm going to select them all. I'm just going to hold alt and drag and alt and drag. Uh, and then we'll do the results over here, I guess. Um, you can organize however you want, um, but these will obviously have to be the questions and the answers. It's just, just so visually I can see what we're dealing with. That's why we're doing it that way. Okay. So um, one thing I'm going to need is I'm going to need a button that will say, you know, how did I do, right? So we need to make a button, like a, a results button, if you will. Um, so to do that, we will just, uh, I'm just gonna make a button. So we'll just we'll go like this. And then um, I'm gonna go ahead and just write results in it. So that way I know what it is. Um, let's do 48 and we'll just say, re Oops. let's change the color. Let's make it white so I can see it. And we'll say results. Um, and let's also make this text box a little bit bigger so it can actually fit it. Okay, good. And then I'm just gonna pull it down here and uh, let's make this a little bit smaller. Okay, um, I just need a button. So uh, I would design your button however you wanna design it. I'm just gonna grab the whole thing and make this into a symbol because in order to interact with code, we have to make things simple. So we're gonna go modify, convert to symbol, and we're going to switch this to a button um, and we're going to say um, results. OK, all right. Uh, that looks uh, acceptable. OK, so um, the other thing we're going to need is text in order to display the results. So underneath that, I'm going to just uh, do another text box um, and we will put in nothing. It'll be an empty text box. OK. Uh, the reason why we're putting in nothing is because we don't want to show a score until we've already have it um, uh, set up. Okay, so uh, now we have all the pieces that we need, but what I want to do is um, uh, we need to basically put the code in. Okay, but before we put the code in, each one of these have to have a unique um, instance name, right? So if you recall, the way that we can distinguish between these and these and these is by the instance name. So we're just going to call this one answers. <clears throat> zero one or maybe just answer zero one okay and i'll just copy that and i'm going to call this one answer zero two and answer uh zero three okay so basically uh we will test each one of those by the names answer zero one zero two and zero three okay um now we're gonna need this button's gonna need to have a name and we'll just call this the um results uh, button like that okay and then the text itself is also going to need to have a name so that we can put text into it so we'll call this um, final score okay um, the other thing we want to make sure that we have on this is make sure that this is set to dynamic text if it's static text it almost I want to say it treats it like an image but it means it's just going to be 100% what it is I think that it's weird I guess they're making the, the default dynamic now because I made it automatically, but just make sure it's dynamic. Dynamic just means that it can be interacted with through code. Okay. Uh, okay, great. So we now have all the pieces that we needed in order to uh, make this uh, start working. So the next thing to do is to make our, uh, our code. So I'm gonna hit F9 or you can go to Windows Actions. Okay. And we're going to start off with using some, we're going to have to write quite a bit actually for, to make this work, but we're going to start off with just using this as a button. So I'm going to select the results. We're going to hit the little code snippets, and then we're going to go over here 
and um, we will go to HTML and then let's see uh, let's see if any of these would make any sense for what we're trying to do um, click to display a text field let's try that one uh, really I just actually you know we don't need any of these we're just gonna do a mouse click event um, because we just the code we're gonna make is gonna have to be custom written anyway so we're just gonna do um, mouse click event just double click on that and that will give us our basic code for the button um, but it doesn't actually really do anything um, right now it just does results button add event listener and then it'll just say that something's clicked on it and it's just going to do an alert mouse clicked um, you're not going to see it down here uh, but it will show up in the output okay so that's what that's for um, all right so we now have the button that when we click on it it's going to do something okay so the next thing we want to do is have it basically uh do what we want so in order to do this we're gonna have to have a score that we're gonna have to keep track of so we're gonna have to make a custom variable so we're gonna have a variable called var that's the keyword to say it's variable and then we're gonna give it a, a unique name in this case it'll be score and then and uh we could just do that that would be fine but i want to give it an initial value we're given an initial value of zero okay all right, so now we have a score, and now what we need to do is we need to add to that score depending on what they have checkboxed over here, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to remove all this bit, okay? And then we're going to do this. We're going to say if, and then it's going to be whatever is inside these parentheses is true, it's going to do what's in here, okay? And what we're going to do is we're just going to test whether though the checkboxes are correct. So in this case, it's going to be this dot answer. Uh, I spelled it wrong. Answer zero one. I think is what we named it. Got to double check. Answer zero one. You could even just grab it. Control C to copy to make sure it's correct. Um, I'm going to just click back on this one here. So uh, I'm just going to pa paste it right in here. Control V. Good. Answer zero one. So we're going to say, okay, so it's that object. And then inside of that object are the checkboxes. So we'll say checkbox, and I'm actually going to double check to make sure that that is correct. So we're going to double click inside of here, and then, okay, so it's checkbox one, two, and three. Okay, so this is where it might vary for yours. I'm going to make it that the first answer is the correct one. So we're going to go ahead, I'm going to select this one, and I'm going to go copy, okay? I'm going to go over here, and let's again go to slide four actions. So I'm just going to go ahead and paste this. Okay, because that's the one I want to be true. And we're going to ask it, is the current frame, is that equal equal, which means that's equals. If it's just one equal, that's an assignment. It means it gives it a value. In this case, we're asking, we're doing a comparative statement. We're going to say, is it one? Um, so if that's true, we're going to go ahead and take our score. And we're going to do plus plus. That's an increment. So it's the same as doing score plus one. Okay. And all we want to do is just copy that for the other ones. So we'll go ahead and I'm going to control C, control V, control V. But now we need to change it to answer two, because that was the second set of checkboxes and three. And just to make things a little bit more interesting, this is where you would want to change these. So I'm going to go ahead and make this one two and make this one three. So the correct answers are going to be on the first one is the first checkbox, on the second one is the second checkbox, and on the third one it's the third checkbox. All right, the last thing I need to do, um, so that's going to add the score, but we're not going to see it. So the last thing we need to do is actually um, uh, uh, output that. So after the last if statement, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to say this dot um, final score. I need to make sure it's the right. It's always good to this box here so I'm just gonna copy that we just want to make sure we don't um, we have all the names correct so we'll go like that so this that final score um, and then the element I want to change of it is the actual text uh, and then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna uh, give it a string well, just just means text so we're gonna do quotes and we're gonna say you scored uh, comma space and then we're gonna con we're gonna concatenate and then we're gonna do a plus and then we're going to give it the score, okay? And then I'm going to also, just so that they know what it was out of, we're going to go like this, slash three, and then we have to end it with a uh, semicolon, okay? 
So basically, it's going to say you score. It's going to put the score, and then it's going to say basically out of you know out of three. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and we will try this. No whammies, no whammies, no whammies. This is what you have to say to make sure there's no errors. Um, just in case it's a it's a a little trick. Okay, that you should learn when coding. Okay. All right. So should be this one, this one, and this one, and then we'll hit results and it didn't show up. So that's disappointing. So what we're gonna do is we are going to see why it didn't show up. Let's go back here. Um, all right, so it could be that this box is just not big enough, so I'm gonna make it just larger. Um, also, the size is really large, so let's make this um, 24. And also, it's white. So that might that's actually probably the reason why it's not reading. Okay, let's try it again. If the box isn't big enough, it might it might text wrap. It might just not fit. We're gonna get rid of this one. Um, but I think it might have just been because the background was. So we'll do this one, this one, and this one, and then we'll hit results. And you scored three out of three. Yay! Okay. Now, if I go like this and we do this, and I'll leave the last one hit results. Four out of three. So you can kind of see what the problem is right off the bat is that. Um, it's going to uh, just keep adding, right? So um, this is something I hadn't really thought about. So we're going to fix that real quick too. So let's uh, go back to that the script and let's do the first thing that we're going to do is just do score. Um, we'll just give it a value of zero again, not o, zero. And then let's test that again. This is why you have to test things, look for bugs and such. So knowing I have to keep clicking all the way through. Okay. So results. Let's do this one. Good. And then we'll do this one. Good. And we do this one. Good. And then we go like that. And it goes down. Good. All right. So basically, it's just resetting every time. And that looks pretty good. So um, that looks okay to start with. We're, um, I'm going to do a couple of different things. Because one of the problems that's going to happen, you're going to see, is that every time we click, um, the uh the um the score is still going to be there so when the next person comes in because i want to present these um i need to have that score basically reset so that's another thing we're just going to add um and we will set that up in the next one